So stepping into the life of a pastor rather than being a seminarian, you're expected to have a lot of things, uh, be it the uniform, clericals, dress pants, shoes, uh, looking presentable, uh, having the vestments on Sunday, the alb, the cassocker surplus, the stoles, um, the communion kit that you need to go and visit your shut-ins. Uh, all these things, having them day one would be, <laughs> a good thing would be very helpful, uh, but that might not be the reality for all of us going out. Uh, in addition to that, uh, thinking about our library of resources that we've gathered and developed over our years here at seminary, uh, there are still those resources that professors will say, hey, you should have that for Bible study, or this would be really helpful in counseling. Uh, but we haven't had the time or the money or the purpose right now to purchase those things. Uh, and one last area that uh, a pastor needs to be thinking about right off the bat is technology. Uh, what resources do you have? What resources really should probably be replaced in, in, in computers or tablets or whatever you have currently? What, what would help to remove this obstacle or barrier between you and your, and your people and your best opportunity to teach uh, and catechize? Um, you know, these are all very uh, tangible tools that would, I think, help in that uh, transition period. Yeah, and the transition, I'm looking at transitioning into you being a pastor now, um, just looking at our budget, we're going to have to start paying off student debt, mm -hmm. and that's going to yeah. be a huge part of our monthly budget. So anything that, you know, like the move and getting groceries when we get there and everything that will come a part of the transition would be really helpful to not have to worry about that stuff.